Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're already familiar with my channel, then you may notice that I'm somewhere a little different. I'm standing in my bathroom, usually don't film in my bathroom, but today I have a reason for being in my bath. So recently there's been this trend going around YouTube where people let their pets pick their makeup. Um, I don't know who actually started it, I apologize, but I've seen a lot of people recreate it since, so I thought that it would be kind of a fun video for me to do. So as a lot of you already probably know, I do have a pet channel on YouTube, don't really post makeup videos, but I actually oddly get requests for them a lot. I have a lot of people asking me to do makeup videos despite being a pet channel. So when I saw this trend going around of YouTubers letting their pets pick their makeup, I thought that it would be like the perfect opportunity for me to incorporate some makeup into my channel, even though it's a pet channel. But yeah, I don't know, I thought it would be a fun thing to do. So all of that said, I think we'll just go and like get right into it. I have over 30 exotic animals and we're going to be letting them choose my makeup today. So I'm pretty excited to see how it turns out. Might be really good, might be horrible. Um, I picked some fun things for them to choose from, so could get interesting. Probably does. Um, yeah, all that said, let's go and take a look at my makeup now and start letting my pets choose it. Okay, so the first step in my makeup routine is some kind of primer for my face. Now, I don't actually like to use a lot of the store-bought primers. I haven't really found one that works for me that I really enjoy. So my two options are the NYX, what is this? <laughs> We have the NYX Away We Glow Strobe Cream. So this isn't actually like a primer, but I like to use it as one because I enjoy having pretty dewy skin. I have really dry skin naturally, so I like to use like dewy products. So this helps create a nice dewy look on the skin. So this is something I use. And my other option is just a lotion from Lush. Um, so this is a body and face lotion. Just kind of a moisturizer. I find moisturizers work really good as a primer, especially for someone like me with dry skin. So this is the second option. So I'm just going to put the two products on the ground and then set Pumpkin down and see which one he goes to first. Come on, Pumpkin, they're this way. No, oh, turn around. Pumpkin, turn around. Pumpkin, pick one. <laughs> I'm good. Okay, in order to get him to choose, I'm going to put a different treat by each one and then whichever treat he goes to first will be the one that I use. Okay, the treats are in place. Let's see where he goes. Pumpkin, there's treats. No, turn around. There's treats. Oh, okay, pumpkin pick. He didn't even get the treat, but um, he picked the Lush lotion. Okay, well, thank you, pumpkin. You did a great job picking. Okay. So as you guys all saw, the winner was the lotion by Lush. So this is what I'm going to be using as my base slash primer for today. Now our next product is going to be foundation. So I have two different foundations here. So the first one is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. And then our second one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've actually never used this foundation before. Like this is brand new. So I'm kind of really hoping I get this one because I wanna try it out. All right, Sunny, pick my foundation. Oh, okay, she again ignored the treat. I don't know what's going on, but she definitely picked the Born This Way foundation. So yay, I got what I wanted. Thank you for making a good choice. I wanted this one, thank you. And I am very happy to say that our winner for today was the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. As I said earlier, this is new. I really wanna try it out, so I'm happy that this one won. Okay, and next product we have is concealer. Now, I actually only have one concealer on me today, so there's not much choice to pick from. I only have the one and it is the Naked Skin Concealer. This is my only option, but you know, we're gonna like let my pets choose it anyways. All right, Willow, um, I know you're in here somewhere. I have no idea where though, but um, I need help picking out a concealer. I know I only have one, so this should be a pretty easy choice for you. Um, anyways, thanks for picking this one for me. Um, I'll be sure to use it, thanks. Oh my gosh, big surprise. 
surprise, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer 1 could have never imagined. So it looks like for concealer today, we're going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I guess I also have to pick some kind of like sponge and I only have one. So again, there's really no choice here. I'm going to be using this beauty blender to do my face, but we're going to let a pet pick it anyways, just so they feel nice and included and they don't feel left out. So someone's going to pick this beauty blender and I'm going to use it. Hello, Chip. Hello. Would you like me to use this beauty blender to do my makeup today? Would you like it? Yeah, okay, thank you for picking the beauty blender. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and choose a setting powder. So here we have the Laura Mercier, you know, translucent setting powder. Literally every person ever uses this, so. This is my go-to setting powder. I really like this one. And then the second one we have is this Wet n Wild, what is it, mattifying powder. So I personally am really hoping for this one because I am scared to use this one. Um, I specifically got this one just for the video just because I needed a second setting powder to add in. This says mattifying, which terrifies me because any of you out there who have dry skin know you don't wanna put mattifying stuff on your face. It makes you look so dry and crusty. So really don't wanna get this one. I'm really hoping for Laura Mercier. Plus, oh my God, this all just broke. I literally just shook it and it all broke. Oh my gosh. Well, anyways, that's cool. So I can't really put treats down to kind of entice him to pick one. So, um, please don't run away. Please, please pick one. Dorito, come back. Please choose. Please pick. Dorito, please. Is the third time gonna work any better? Come on. Okay, thank you. Thanks for all your help. Please. Do you like this one? Oh, does that mean yes? <laughs> or do you like this one? I'm going to take that as a he liked this one better because he literally licked this one and walked on it and when I put him on this one, he jumped away. So, um, good decision making. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Okay, so. Thank goodness I got the one I wanted. I was so scared to get this one. Like I knew it would make me look so bad. So I'm really happy I don't have to use this. So for setting powder today, we are going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Next product I'm going to pick is my contour. So I have kind of like two palettes here. This one's more of a palette than this one is, but um, yeah. So this here is the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. I'm sure you can tell by how dirty it is how much I use it. I use this every single day. This is like my favorite face palette of all time. So we're going to be seeing if I'm going to be using this contour shade here. So this is the first option. And the second option is this little e.l.f. palette here. So this one here is just kind of like a little duo. It has like a bronzer slash contour shade and then a blush over here. So we're going to see if we're going to use the Tarte contour shade or this one here. Okay, Casper, choose my contour. Oh, right to e.l.f. All right. Guess we're going with e.l.f. today. Thank you for picking. So yeah, we're going to be using the e.l.f. contour. All right, so it looks like the e.l.f. shade was our winner. So to contour today, I will be using this shade right here. All right, so this little palette is making an appearance again because now we're going to be picking my blush. So like I just showed you, there is a contour and a blush shade in here. I really, really like this blush shade. It's very like pale, like I don't know. I don't like really bright blushes. I like pale blushes more, so I really like this shade. And then our other option is this like bright pink sparkly blush from e.l.f. So I'm really hoping that I don't get this one. I would much rather get this one because I don't really like bright pink on my face. So again, I'm going to um, bribe Henry with some treats to see which one he wants. So we're gonna let him down and see where he goes. Well, um, why does no one want the treats? Okay, he didn't want the treat, but I would say he chose this one, the one I didn't want. Thank you so much for giving me exactly what I didn't want. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. So sadly, it seems like the e.l.f. blush, the bright pink one, is our winner for today. 
not what I wanted, but I guess we're gonna have to make it work. Okay, so now we're going to be picking what highlighter I'm going to be using, and this palette is also making a comeback again, and the other option is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Like I said before, this is like my go-to palette. I absolutely love it. This highlighter in the top there that you can see that's like half gone is my absolute favorite, so I would like to get this one. But I also really like this palette too, so like either way, I'm going to be happy. Like I like them both. Let's see which one we're going to be using. Which one are you gonna choose? You have this one, and you have this one. All right, you can you can go choose. Wow, good job, thank you. Wow, you're doing a really good job. Thank you, you're making me real proud. Come on, Pepper. Maybe I'll bring them a little closer. Which one do you want? Neither, okay. Please, please choose one. Please. <laughs> please pick one. Why are you wiggling your tail like that? Please. <laughs> well, you know what? She keeps running this way. So I'm gonna say this one. So it looks like I'll be using the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit today. Um, Typically when I use this, I use this middle shade here and the white shade mixed together. I find that is what works best on my pale face. Yeah, this is what we're using for highlight today. Okay, so now all of our face makeup is picked. I just hit myself in the face. Um, that's nice. Anyways, all of our face products are picked, so now we're going to move on to the eye. So first off here, I have eyeliner. So I actually have two different types of eyeliners and we're going to choose which one I'm going to be using. So here we have the NYX, what is it? I don't even remember. I don't know. It's just like a NYX liquid liner. So this is what I use when I do like winged liner. So if I pick if I get this one picked, I'll be doing like a wing and our second option is just this Marc Jacobs pencil liner. So obviously I don't do a wing with a pencil liner. I use this to line my waterline. So we're going to be seeing if I'm going to be doing a wing or if I'm just going to be doing my waterline. Okay, I placed them on the ground and here she is. So I guess I'm just going to have to see where she slithers to. Well, all right, thank you. She picked pencil liner. Good job, thank you so much. All right, so looks like this is our winner for today. So it looks like the Marc Jacobs pencil liner was it for today. So looks like I'm not doing a wing like I usually do. And instead I'm going to be lining my waterline, which is not what I usually do. I don't like how that looks on me, but um, we're gonna go for it. Next eye-related product is going to be for my eyebrows. So here I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder, and here I have the Brow Pomade. So I'm actually really hoping for the Brow Pomade because this, um, this powder here is in the shade Taupe. If you guys are familiar with me, I just recently dyed my hair brown. I had it blonde before, so this powder here is what I used back when my hair was blonde, so it's too light for me now. So after I dyed my hair, I picked up the pomade in shade Ash Brown. So this one matches me, this one doesn't. So I'm hoping for this one, but who knows? We'll just have to make it work if I get this one. Okay, so there's the two products on the floor there. I put treats in front of each one to kind of bribe her, so let's see where she goes. Peanut, you're going the wrong way. Look at all this fur. <laughs> oh, she went for the dip brow. Thank you so much. Thank you, you're so helpful. Thank you. Okay, so thankfully I did end up getting the pomade, so at least my eyebrows will match my hair. So now before we go any further with the eyes, we're going to have to pick an eye primer, like an eyeshadow primer. So again, I only have one eyeshadow primer, which is this one. It's just like an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So again, no choice here. We're still gonna let a pet pick it just so they're included, but we're gonna be using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. All right, hello, Mark. Um, I don't know where you are. I'm assuming you're probably hiding behind your plant, but like, I need your help. So I need to pick an eyeshadow primer and I'm not entirely sure which one to use. Um, I'm hoping you like this one because it's the only one I have. So please tell me that you like it. 
Okay, you like it? All right, thank you so much for all your help. And another product I have is an eyeshadow base. Um, it's not really the same as a primer. The primer is like clear, where this base is solid white. So this is something I like to use if I do like a cut crease or if I just want my shadow to be really pigmented. So yeah, let's pick a base now. Again, we only have one, but we're gonna go and let one of my pets choose a base, okay? Would you like me to use this eyeshadow base? You know, just the NYX eyeshadow base? Yeah, you say yeah? Okay, thank you for all your help. Okay, and now it's time for eyeshadow. So I picked a palette that I really love, which is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I picked a palette that I really hate, which is the Subculture palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So in case you don't know what they look like, I'll like show you quickly. So this is the Modern Renaissance palette, and this is the Subculture palette. So I'm really hoping for the Modern Renaissance palette. I really enjoy this one, and I really do not enjoy this one so much. I find the shadows really hard to blend, but these ones are really nice. So hoping for this one. Okay, Titan, I'm gonna set you down, and you're gonna pick an eyeshadow palette for me. I'm counting on you. No! Oh, he definitely picked Subculture, didn't you? You just knew I hated that one and you just want to torture me, don't you? Well, thank you very much for rubbing your whole body on it. Thank you. Alright, so it looks like my pets hate me and they chose the Subculture palette for me, which is not what I wanted, but we're gonna have to figure out how to make it work, even though I hate this so much and it doesn't work. All right, so I only have one eyelash curler, but you know, we're gonna let my pets choose it anyways, just because, you know, being inclusive, gonna let them choose my eyelash curler. And Pascal, I don't even know where you are because this cage is so big and it's so full, but um, I know you're in there somewhere. So I need your help. I need help picking an eyelash curler. I mean, I know this is the only one I have, so like I'm hoping that you like it. Um, if you could just tell me that you like it, that would be great. Okay, thank you. All right, so now we have mascara. And similar to the eyeshadow palettes I picked, I took a mascara that I really love and one that I really hate. <laughs> so the mascara that I love is just this Marc Jacobs mascara. I don't think it even has a name. Like I don't see a name anywhere on it literally just says Marc Jacobs, but this is like my everyday mascara. I love this one so much, so hoping for this one. And this is the mascara that I really hate. So this is like the Wet n Wild Mega Volume one. Don't like it at all. It, I don't know, I just find it doesn't really do much for my lashes. It doesn't look good. I don't like this one. So I'm hoping for Marc Jacobs. Okay, Daisy, pick my mascara. No, 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 don't go there. Don't go through that one. No, please, please, please turn around. Okay, Daisy, pick one. You can't just walk. No. Well, I'm gonna say she picked this one because she keeps walking towards it. Daisy, why did you have to do this to me? Why? Why'd you do that? Anyways, guess um, this is it, the one that I hate. Thank you. Love you too. Well, looks like we're going with the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. So once again, it looks like my animals hate me because they picked the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara for me. Even though I hate it so much, I really, really hate this mascara, but I guess we're gonna have to make it work. Okay, and the final product that we have to choose now is a lipstick. So same with the mascara and same with the eyeshadows. I picked one that I'm really liking and one that I really don't like. So the one that I like is this liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is in the shade Stripped. It probably won't focus, but this is Stripped by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is like my everyday liquid lipstick. I wear this a lot when I film. This is like my favorite all time. And here I picked this bright purple wet and wild lipstick. Anyways, let's go see which lipstick they pick. So I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but I kind of want my fish to pick my lipstick. So I have the option of my clownfish over here or I have my goldfish. Um, I don't know. I think the clownfish are kind of smarter than the goldfish. You know what I mean? 
they're not really trained to like follow my finger or anything but the clownfish actually will go to something so I think I'm going to try them I'm also going to turn down the blue light quite a bit so that it's not so hard to see okay you can see better um, let's just kind of hold them and see if they prefer one. Oh, 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 it looks like they prefer the purple one. Do you guys prefer the purple one? Come on, pick. Hello? Do you have an opinion? Do you have an opinion? No? No opinion? Well, it kind of seemed like they did prefer the purple one at first, so, um, I guess that's what we're gonna go with. I guess we're going for the purple one. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Mm, I'm so excited. So I think it's pretty clear by now that my animals just hate me because they pick the bright purple lipstick for me. Yay. And the last product that I have to pick is going to be a setting spray. Um, like a couple of the other products I already showed, I only have one setting spray, so there's no choice here. We're still going to let an animal pick it though, just for fun, you know, just to include them. But here I have the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. And Cinderella, what do you think of this um, setting spray? I mean, I know it's the only one I have, so like you don't have much option, but like, do you like it? Because I need to use it, so tell me you like it. Okay, so I now have every single product that I need to finish my face. I have like literally a whole face worth of products. So I guess it's time to go ahead and do my makeup now and see what we can come up with. Okay, well first things first, I'm just going to be taking my Lush lotion and putting it on my face to hydrate myself and give myself like a little bit of base to work on. Okay, so now that my face is all primed, I'm going to be putting my foundation on. So once again, we have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend this all in. Okay, now that my foundation's done, I'm going to be taking my Naked Skin Concealer and just going like, you know, where you put concealer. And then, of course, blending all of that out. Okay, so now that like the base of my face is done, like the foundation and the concealer, I'm going to set it in place using the Laura Mercier setting powder. So now I know a lot of people like to bake their face, but due to how dry my skin is, I don't bake my face at all. I just kind of lightly put some powder over it because if I bake it, I just look so dry and crusty. So I'm just going to take a bit of powder on a brush and kind of lightly put it over my face. Okay, now that my face is all set in place, it's time to go ahead and contour. So to contour today, we're using the this little e.l.f. duo that I have. Obviously, we're using the contour shade and not the blush, so let's go and do that. Okay, so I just went and finished contouring. I just did it off camera. I needed to look in the mirror. I'm sorry. But now we will move on to the blush. And I am nervous for this. It is really, really pink and I don't like bright pink on my face. So I'm probably going to use like minimal blush. I don't want it to be super bright, so. Okay, I think I look okay. And now we will move on to highlighter. So we are using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. And as I showed you before, I typically like to mix this shade and this shade together. Okay, so now my whole face is pretty well done. So it's time to kind of move on to the eye areas. So I'm going to start off with my eyebrows and we have the Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown today. I'm going to go and do these off camera because I, I, I just can't do my eyebrows looking in this little screen here. So I will be back with my eyebrows done. Okay, so I just finished my eyebrows. I didn't do them very Okay, so now that before I do the eyeshadow, I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm just going to put 
a little teeny bit on each eyelid. And I do also have this base that I picked out, but I don't think I'm going to use it because honestly, with how much I hate this palette, I don't want anything standing out. I want to do like as minimal eyeshadow as possible, so I don't think I'm going to be using the base. I'm just going to toss that aside. <laughs> so yeah, I literally want as minimal eyeshadow possible because I just really don't like this palette. So let's see what we come up with. Okay, I'm going to take this shade here, Dawn. It's just like a light shade. I'm going to use it as like a transition shade. Oh, this is so much darker. Oh my god. That's so much darker than I thought it would be. I thought you'd like barely see it. Well, you know what? That little teeny tiny bit of orange is enough. That's all I want. There we go. When you have hooded eyelids, at least you can hide all the bad eyeshadow. Okay, and then I think I'll take a little bit of this shimmer shade here. What is it called? Adorn and just put it on the lid, you know, just to kind of complete this beautiful look. Okay, that is literally all the eyeshadow I will do. I refuse to do more. I don't like that palette. If I did anything else, it would just end up looking so bad so we're going to leave it at this so now i'm going to move on to just dropped it okay now we're going to move on to the eyeliner so i'm going to be doing my waterline probably going to have to do this off camera because i need to get i don't know i need to get right close up so i'll be back okay so i just put the eyeliner on my waterline so now i'm going to go and curl my lashes and then do my mascara Alright, so I actually think it's not looking too bad right now. Like, it looks pretty good, but we're about to ruin everything. We're about to put on some purple lipstick. You know, purple lipstick with, like, orange eyeshadow. Now, of course, we gotta finish off the look with some setting spray. And we're done. Okay, overall, I don't think it turned out that bad. Like, definitely the lipstick and the eyeshadow doesn't really go together that well. That's okay. If I had like a nude lipstick, like an orangey nude shade, that would go way better. And I also don't like the mascara. I would have way rather used the Marc Jacobs mascara. It's so much better. But given the fact that my pets picked all this, I think it turned out pretty well. Like, I, I don't hate it. It's just like the lipstick doesn't really match the eyeshadow, but that's fine, you know? It's 2018. Your lipstick doesn't need to match your eyeshadow if you don't want it to. So, yeah, here's the complete look. I feel obligated to do one of those, like, beauty guru montage thingies, but I'm not going to, so, yeah. Well, this is it, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my pets pick my makeup, and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me do my makeup. I don't know. It's new to my channel. I don't know if you like it, but yeah. I meant to mention this at the beginning, too, but I completely forgot to. I also just wanted to say all the products that I use are cruelty-free. Only use cruelty-free makeup. Just thought I'd put that out there, because I don't know. People will probably ask, but yeah all cruelty free. Anyways, I think that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, check out all of my social media. Everything will be in the description below. All that said though, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. I had fun doing this, so hopefully you guys had fun watching it. So yeah, thank you all for watching.